All right, so looking for a piece of software that allow you to, for free, create encrypted self-extracting archives, a little research on uh, Wikipedia. There's a nice article called Comparison of File Archivers. And so there's 7-zip, free. And as far as features go, 7-zip does self-extraction and encryption. So I downloaded 7-Zip from their website, and they have two versions. One's for 32-bit OSs, such as Windows 7 32-bit, and 64-bit OSs, such as Windows 7 64-bit. I have 64-bit, but you should download the version appropriate for your computer. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to use it. So you select the after you've installed it, you can select the files, right-click, go to 7-Zip, add to archive, and the program will execute. Um, make sure you check the option to create SFX archive if you want to make a self-extracting archive. And then put in a password if you would like to encrypt it. Encrypt it. So we click OK. And it makes an, an EXE. So I can call that whatever I want. And you can see that it is indeed a um, EXE. Now, some mail software, email software, will block EXE attachments because EXEs can sometimes be a way to send viruses to people. So, to get around the the filtering, uh, what I would do is go ahead and put that in a zip. And you can use Windows Seven's built-in send to compressed folder, which will create a zip file of the same name. Now, when you send this to someone and they open it, inside they'll find the uh, the executable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder for us to extract the uh, files to, an empty folder. Okay, so we're going to go into that zip file, run that exe, and it says, where do you want to unzip this stuff to? And then that, now it's asking for the password. So put the password in. And let's go into that folder, and there they are. And you're done. It's as simple as that.